Okay, I'm just doing a quick in the car pickup of what I got today. Uh, today I went to the Shell, Fla Fla Shell Factory Tuesday flea market. Um, I didn't go early because I am on vacation and I wasn't working it. So we slept a little later. Um, but there was, I actually did buy some stuff, which was a surprise for me. One of, um, one of the things that I did buy was I bought um, a PS2. And it's in this bag. I spent $15 for the PS2 and what's in this bag. And the guy wanted $20. Sorry, it's taking a second. Okay, the guy wanted $20, but there's nothing really great here. And the PS2 is, it's not rattling, but it's been opened. Um, and you can tell because the tape has been cut and is and removed here. So somebody either did a repair on it. Um, so there's really no guarantee this will work. And odds are it won't. So I will probably wind up giving this to my friend. If it works, I'll be surprised. But uh, so he wanted 20. I offered 15. And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, fine. I don't care, right? So I go to walk away. Because I'm taking this stuff home. And I don't feel like driving this all over the place and not making much. Because to me, that's a, a loss. My friend will make some money off it and he'll give me some money. So the 15 that I paid has to come from these games. And none of these games are very special. And none of them are very easy to sell. Uh, Crazy Frog, <laughs> not for me. I, my daughter might have liked this game if it was not PS2, like a, a newer version game. I have no clue if this has any value. It's not a game I ever get. Uh, Lego Star Wars, I know this is like a $3 game uh, for me. And actually it's, oh no, okay, there's two games in here. ATV, Off-Road Fury, not for resale, and a Star Wars video game. And I didn't really check to see how, eh, it looks pretty clean. All right. So, so... Then Splinter Cell, very difficult game. Uh, Splint, uh, Splinter Cell, a, a very difficult game for me to sell, uh, which is funny, the way that it came out. Um, Tie 2, this game probably is worth maybe 5 to $8, but again, it's not an easy game to sell. I didn't really even look at the game. Oh, anyway, so I offered the guy 15 and he was like, no, I'm not going to, I don't know. So I go, okay, and I walked away, right? So... Like, my wife was still there, and the guy was all grumbling about me. I ain't selling these games cheap. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't there to hear it. But it didn't matter to me because all I wanted to pay is 15 because basically I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. So I would pay two apiece for the games. I can sell them. Call of Duty. This is a hard game to sell. Oh, oh actually, there's a couple of things in here. Um, touching Wild Horses. That sounds weird <laughs> and perverted. Uh, Lion King, one and a half. Katie Olsen, Call of Duty 360s. All right. I don't know. I wanted to look at the uh, 360 game, Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, it looks pretty... Eh, it'll probably work. And then the Call of Duty Finest Hour. So, actually, there's more stuff in here than I thought, um, which is better for me, although there's nothing really amazing or great or wonderful or special. Um, so, I can definitely, like... Like the Simpsons Road Rage, I can probably sell that like eight bucks. That uh, has the chance to sell. Uh, here's a baseball card. Eddie Matthews, never heard of him. And uh, Atari Anthology. This is like this is, again. This goes in my stack of stuff that I sell for four dollars or whatever, and it doesn't even sell that easily. Uh, PS2 doesn't sell too well. Um, that's not the only games I got. Actually, I did get some more games. What's in here? This is a combination of games and. Um, CDs. For two bucks a piece, I got a Crisis 2, Uncharted 3, and a Deuce X. Deuce X. A human Revolution. I don't know what these games are worth. They're probably worth like five to eight a piece. I'll probably sell them for around five bucks or four bucks. That I, I I paid two. If I'm lucky, one of them could be worth ten, but I don't know. And then for a buck a piece, I got these two CDs: Billy Joel and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Ten uh, ten uh, greatest hits. Okay, all good songs. Um, and again, that's not all the games I got. I got one more small selection of leftover games. Uh, these games are games that, um, okay. I saw these games last Tuesday, and the guy wanted five apiece. Uh, that's a fair price for them, you know, but not if I want to resell them. 
I don't think any of these are worth $10, or if they are worth $10, they're just worth $10. WF Warzone, this is probably uh, a five or so dollar game. Let me just stick it over there. Um, another wrestling game, Hardcore ECW Revolution. I don't know on that one. Um, but these were left. There, there are other game guys here who would have picked them up if they were worth anything or worth the trouble. Um, this is filler stuff. So uh, Road Rash, 64, probably not worth more than 5 or 8. Uh, Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six, I am sure, 5 to 8. Look, here's an old price sticker, four ninety nine. And then the, and and again, even if they're worth five or whatever, they're they're not easy sellers. Uh, NASCAR ninety nine. Um, when I went last Tuesday, these games were five bucks a piece. So he still had them, and I think he got the feeling he wasn't going to be able to sell them. So uh, he, I said, well, what if I take them all, right? So he said fifteen. Now games like this, I don't really want to pay more than three bucks a piece, and three times five is. Uh, 15 right but these are tough sellers so I just threw it out there I said uh, would you take 12 and he was like fine right so I got him for 12 um, I think I probably like thinking about it, I probably would have gone the 15 and uh, you know I would have just sold them eventually I guess um, here's some of the other stuff I got I got some CDs let's see here's more CDs uh, hold on Okay. I don't know what that is. All right. Uh, I definitely got these CDs. Uh, the CDs that I bought were a buck a piece, except for the Bee Gees Greatest. This was $2. And I'm probably only going to sell this for 3 or $4 at most. So, um, But it is the Bee Gees. It's their greatest. Uh, they're not too hard to sell. Then I got a bunch of Bob Dylan. Um, Bob Dylan CDs are harder to find for me. Um, and they're also easy to sell. So I got a Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. Mm, Bob Dylan, Blonde on Blonde, Bob Dylan, Blood on the Tracks, uh, Bob Dylan, Modern Times, Bob Dylan, Highway 61 Revisited, Bob Dylan, The Free Willin, Free Wheelin, The Free Wheelin, The Free Wheelin, Bob Dylan, okay, Bob Dylan, what, I got two Blonde on Blondes, that's weird, yeah, look at that, and I know I said Blonde on Blonde, Blood on the Tracks, All right, I don't know. For some reason I thought I, I said blonde on blonde already. Uh, Nashville Skyline. Sometimes his CDs are worth a little more. I don't think they are. Here's something goofy my daughter um, bought as a gift for my mom. Uh, I don't he I don't know what she paid, but when you squeeze his hands. Pretty goofy, right? Okay, hopefully that'll stop. Uh, quick. I probably shouldn't have opened up that can of worms by playing that. Uh, let's see what's this. Oh, God. All right, let's... Oh, thank God. All right, uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, three bucks, Tresemme, a big bottle. I bought this at the same guy I bought the CDs. Uh, let me just see what else we got. Oh, okay, all these post-it notes, they were like a dollar for all of them. They were like a quarter a piece, and I can use these, you know. So, and then, um, what's in this bag? Oh, my wife got some spicy reading. Oh, and my daughter bought a, a doll head. She's going to do something creative with this. I guess it's ceramic. I don't know what she paid for that, but she's going to do something with that. And then my wife got the, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, uh trilogy <laughs> apparently uh 50 shades of gray 50 shades darker and 50 shades freed uh, oh um and then we bought this camera bag for two bucks it doesn't have a strap but that's not a problem i can get a strap out of yard sale uh, my wife needed a good camera bag and this one looks pretty nice um some of the other stuff they have there they have a lot of local fruit vendors there uh, we are in Florida, and I've never had these. These are uh, papayas. They're little papayas, and supposedly you cut off the flower end. You got to wait for them to get a little softer, and um, they're good eating. I've never had small papayas like that, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try them. And what else? Uh, oh, these oranges. They had a name for these, but we got a whole bag for five bucks. That's a good deal. We tried them. They were super sweet, you know. 
So uh, if you ever do get to the Shell Factory in uh, Fort Myers, there's uh, you can get good fruit. And then also there's a guy that sells honey. Um, big jar of honey, natural, uh, right from the bees, uh, but I don't know, um, natural honey. The W means something, um, or yeah, the W means something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, w E wildflower maybe, but W F. Um, they there were some that that are um, flavored like tangerines. Like this one's an orange flavored one, and I think it gets the flavor because that's where the bees pollinate. Uh, the guy also has, as you see, I bought the oranges from the same guy. The guy also has. Um, Plant, like I don't know if he has an actual plantation. Uh, this K, key lime. So so this is probably like he used the bees, the bees that made this honey pollinated his key lime uh, fields. I don't. Know. Anyway, that's everything I got today. Um, everything I got today. Uh, I'm gonna go shopping tomorrow. I'm going back to Wednesday. Well, I'm not gonna sell. I'm licking like a little honey residue off my fingers. I'm not gonna sell tomorrow that because that was the worst out of all the markets that I did while I was down here for me um, but I'm gonna go shopping I actually like that one for shopping they get a lot of vendors there even more vendors than the Tuesday one and like I said I was surprised to find anything even though I got there late but that's it uh, that's it for me today okay actually I missed these uh, this is something else that we got um, at the flea market while I was there I just missed them so I'm gonna put them this is this will be the first video. Uh, Twenty dollars. We got this very long. This is very long. Uh, I don't know if I can show you how long, but what I'll do that's quadruple length. This has got to be like about twenty-four inch chain. Um, Aurora borealis type crystal necklace uh, with two pairs of earrings, kind of matching crystals. There it is, close up. Um, matching crystals, earrings, right? My wife will probably sell the earrings for maybe five bucks a piece. And the necklace, she could possibly get like ten to twenty dollars. I don't know. And uh, then there was this. This is a nice marcasite. It's got something spilt on it. She's gonna have to clean it. But it's a nice old marcasite uh, necklace. You see it in the sun. There it is in the shade. I don't know what she'll show better. It's Mark Sterling. And something there, I don't know what that is, but there, teeny little mark there says sterling, and then there's another mark. I didn't bother to read it. It's probably some kind of maker's initials. Definitely an older one. Um, this she paid. The guy wanted, the guy wanted twenty, but he said, um, "I'll go 15. So she she bought that, and then she bought these. That's everything I got today. And also, I didn't mention that the the guy that was selling, we bought this from the same guy that was selling the honey, and he had little jars. The little jars I showed you, he was selling those for five a piece. And the bigger jars were ten dollars, but it is like straight from the field, honey. So, and we've had it before. Uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh, anyway, next video I'll show the stuff I got. Okay, it's uh, Tuesday again, and I'm at the uh, I'm at the Shell Factory flea market. Now I'm walking around, and hey, what'd you buy? I'm buying a little bit, not too much. Uh, some games here. I'll show the bag on the corner, and I'm just going to show. Um, the market for a second just so you can see kind of what's here and I'm mostly walking around uh, this is just to show where I am and it's much more crowded today I came last week and uh, I did all right but I, I don't you know I think it was mostly because we were fresh meat I'm not doing any more markets while I'm down here this will be the last one but I will come and shop so anyway uh, I'm, the next part of the video or the part before this will just be me talking about what I bought today